Let's go over the ending scene of Star Wars The Last Jedi when it comes to Luke Skywalker's binary sunset and death. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. So as you all know, in The Last Jedi, toward the very ending of the movie, we have that heartbreaking moment in which we lose our Jedi Master, Luke. He passes away, he goes out like Obi-Wan Kenobi did in A New Hope, where his cloak essentially flattens out on the ground, and he vanishes. So Ryan Johnson actually took over to the internet to essentially explain in further detail about the twin sons and Luke's death. Now this is what Ryan Johnson had to say about the twin sons. It's slightly ambiguous as to whether this is a flashback he's having, whether this is in his mind, or whether he's actually seeing the two sons at the end. I guess it doesn't really matter, Johnson confessed. We've never seen two sons over the island before, and it's the only shot in the whole island where you see two sons and it's slightly ambiguous as to whether he's actually seeing it. So let me point out one thing right there from director and writer Ryan Johnson is that the planet Ock 2, according to the Visual Dictionary, actually does have two suns. In fact, if you look in the Visual Dictionary, there is indeed a page that shows Luke Skywalker's hut. There's two points on top of the roof, and it specifies that those two points on the roof point to the two stars that are orbiting the planet, hence the twin suns. So the planet does in fact have twin suns, and that actually tells us right then and there that what he's seeing is actually not in his mind. So I don't know if Ron Johnson knew about the visual dictionary and the actual facts, but according to Ron Johnson, the ending is left ambiguous as to whether or not Luke is imagining the twin suns or if those suns are actually there. Now, next up, he has this to say. The idea is, physically, he set it up a little bit with Kylo's line earlier in the movie where he says to Rey, you're not doing this, the effort would kill you, Johnson noted, even just to do the less powerful connection they're doing. So the notion of doing this new projection thing, the notion that this would take everything out of him. He goes on to say, it's mostly about Luke during a Q&A session with Entertainment Weekly's Anthony Bresnikan. To me, it shows that the act of Luke Skywalker did or deciding to take on the mantle of the legend after he had decided the galaxy was better off with had farther outreaching con consequences than saving 20 people in the cave. Now the legend of Luke Skywalker is spreading, hope is reignited in the galaxy. Now I do want to go back to the twin sons because I think that's one of my favorite pieces, visually speaking, of the movie is because symbolically it's great in a sense. I just wish that we didn't lose Luke Skywalker so early in this trilogy. So, out of all the Star Wars films, Luke Skywalker has now three big moments involving the Twin Sons. Birth, life, and death. In Revenge of the Sith, alright, we have, of course, Aunt Beru and Owen Lars holding Luke, looking out to the binary sunset on Tatooine. Now, followed up after that, we have, in Star Wars A New Hope, Luke Skywalker looking out to the binary sunset once again, and in The Last Jedi, during his death or just before his death, I should say, on the planet Ock 2, he gets a glimpse at a binary sunset once more. Ryan Johnson even noted that Luke Skywalker is essentially going out the same, ex the same exact way that he came in. So guys, overall, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.